Hey guys, I just want to throw in a quick disclosure before we get into this week's project. Um, this is the folio series, beginner folios. When you look at the time, it's going to say over an hour. It did not take me over an hour to make this. Um, I had a very overwhelming day. I had a lot going on, so I was a little bit off. And I fought with my paper. I fought with the magnets. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can always fix it. Um, I'm still fighting with my magnets a little bit here, but um, I left all of that in there so you can see. Sometimes when you're following a tutorial, even if it's one that you made up yourself, you can get frustrated um, and everything was just overwhelming me. I didn't have proper paper and stuff like that, so this really doesn't take that long to make. Um, feel free to use your fast forward button a lot <laughs> if you want, but um, here's the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'm here today with our beginner folio series. This is week number three. Week number three is all about the accordion, okay? So, <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> as most of you know, I am not home. Um, I'm in a different country right now. And I brought, you know, what I thought was sufficient paper to do all these projects I wanted to do. But of course, I did not. So I may not have enough to map the tutorial. We're gonna find out. This is the only paper collection that I have left, um, period. I have nothing else. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to figure it out. Um, and that one's used. So anyway, so here is our accordion book. Um, today it's going to be chipboard and, or excuse me, cardstock and magnets. Okay, <clears throat> the mags that I use are basic gray. Um, this paper collection is the Simple Stories Make-A-Wish 2. All right, so I have two, <laughs> two different magnets in here. Um, and so when you open this book, it opens the accordion. Um, I didn't think it through <clears throat> when I was setting the magnets. So... Here's the front. It says, hooray, ears on, let's go, vacay. Super cute. Here's a spine with the tickets. Some um, sequins and more tickets. Okay. The shiny that you're seeing on the spine of this album is um, packing tape. Because, I don't know, I just was in a mood and I was like, I don't want my hinges to tear. And so I put packing tape on it. That is an optional step. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice again. Um, but um, I'm probably going to do it again. No, I'm not going to do it again today because I don't know if I have paper to mat all of that. So anyway, when you open the book, you have your um, accordion on that side. But right here, I made this into a little fun page. Um, it's a faux pocket. So the only thing... Um, that you can stuff in there is, you know, it only goes to right to about maybe an eighth of an inch. It doesn't go all the way over. Though that was cute, you can add your little um, journaling cards. So it's just another idea of how to decorate this page. <clears throat> so when you open her up, um, this one is a tri, um, a trifolio, tri page, I guess. I don't know. And we have four different accordions. The one on the left. Now, I, when I did this, I only had large magnets left. And the large ones are super strong. And they, um, um, it like was magnetizing everything. So anyway, so it pulls out like this. And you have room for one, two, three, four, four by six pictures. So that's the picture you choose. Um, or you can even do something like like that you know what I mean um, this should be a tuck spot it is so you can tuck under there so you can have your picture you're still your full four by six well you got to cut it down just a little bit um, <clears throat> there as well okay and then you're gonna flip it and the same thing you have four spaces for four by six pictures or whatever size pictures you want <clears throat> and then you have 
the space here as well. So for that one, I would add, you know, maybe your two by threes or, you know, whatever you want. Okay. And it's the same on this side. Again, your tuck spot. And this one, does it have a magnet? It does. Just to kind of lay it, make sure it lays flat. Um, the magnets aren't 100% necessary, especially if you have someone that has like a pacemaker, I think it is, or something that can't be around magnets. You do not have to have a magnet. I just wanted it to lay flat. Um, if you burnish really well, it will lay flat, okay? Um, this one doesn't have a magnet at all, so this will fit three by five, three by four pictures. This is a little bit bigger than three by four, but um, you have your tuck spot. Where's a horizontal picture? There you go. You have your tuck spot. That's the only one that's not a tuck spot. <clears throat> This is a tuck spot. Now, this accordion, I didn't want it to come down. I wanted it to come out. So you can change the orientation of your um, accordions depending on where you score. So I wanted these to have room for horizontal pictures, and then the right and left are vertical. Okay. And then you have the space under here that you can flip them both up and add a full four by six if you wanted to, like so, okay? All right, so this other tiny accordion, this is for your two by three pictures. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that up, like so. You're gonna put your pictures, you know, wherever you want. And then it comes down again. So you can see how fun would that be to have like your picture and maybe like the character's autograph you can cut out and put there or you know whatever you want <clears throat> so it's super easy to make again you can add magnets in there or no magnets okay um this one that i'm gonna make right now i think we're just going to i'll show you how to add magnets but i don't think i'm gonna add all of them in there all right, let me pull up my cutting guide so that way I can make sure I have the correct um, everything. All right, so accordion. Again, this is just um, cardstock. Okay, so we need two pieces that are 10 and a half by six and three fourths ruler. All right, so 10 and a half by six and three fourths. Okay, perfect. Make sure I have two. Two. And it needs to be scored. I didn't even tell you where to score on this one. Okay, huh? It needs to be scored at, <coughs> excuse me. Four and three quarters and five and three quarters. So let me type that in. Okay. Let me make sure they're both scored. So scored at four and three quarters and five and three quarters, right? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and prep all of our paper. So then we need, um, <clears throat> eight pieces at four and three fourths by six and a quarter, scored on the short side at half. Okay, so six and a quarter, four and three quarters. Yep, scored and taped on the dented short side. One, two, Three, four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, and eight. Okay, perfect. 
Next, we are going to need four flaps at two and three fourths by three and a quarter. So one, two, three, four at two and three fourths by three and a quarter. Got it. And then last, we need four pieces at three and a quarter by four and three quarters. One, two, three, four, and four and three quarters, three, okay. Scored on the long side at a half an inch. So there we go. Okay, so just follow your cutting guide in the description box. Put your tape on the dentist side um, <clears throat> and we're good to go. Now, in a different video, when I make accordions, I usually don't put the tape on first because I like to lay my accordions um, like this, like inside, but, um, you, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can do it that way. Like when you put it together, you just tape it together or you lay it on top of, um, either put it inside like this or you lay it on top like this. So it didn't matter to me. Um, for this one. The other one, I don't know. It mattered. So I guess it just depends on what you're feeling. <clears throat> so for this album particularly, I matted the blue piece first and then I added my um, accordion and then I matted this on top. So I don't know if I have enough paper or that I even want to use this paper collection to do this. Well, let's work on putting the accordion together first and then we will um, deal with the paper situation. I did try to print some um, digital paper, but my ink ran out, my yellow ink ran out halfway through. And the printer that I have here, it doesn't allow you to refill the ink until all of the colors are out. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know, it was a whole thing. <clears throat> okay, so all I did was I folded this in and then I just attached it to that next one, okay? So I just went like that. That's one way to do it. Or like I said, you can take it and just add it to the next page. So just make sure it's an accordion. Oh my gosh, I'm having a moment here, guys. Because I did it one way, now I'm changing it the other way to show you. Okay. So, so far we have this, okay? Now, for some reason, I did not line this up very well you can either reline it, like use your undo and reline it, or just cut that little overhang off. I'll deal with it at the end. And so we are doing, how many pieces? Four on each side. Okay. And there we go. All right, so this one is put together. Varnish it really, really well. Okay. See, it does lay nice and flat without your magnets. All right. Now, if you put your paper on wrong, just fold it until it makes a um, accordion. Okay. Concertine. Foil. Whatever. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do our next one. I'm going to put this on top. Here. I normally do it the other way, but <clears throat> and here we go. Guys, I've been sick for like two months. 
not as bad as what I was in the beginning, but um, I just can't shake this. Um, I got both viral and bacterial sinus infections when I was in South Africa. And then it turned into bronchitis and then I got a lung infection. It was, it was a whole bunch of stuff. So two months later, I'm still feeling the effects of it. I'm sure there's more germs that came with it, you know, but what else? All right, last one. Okay, so now our accordion is all put together. Our second one. And now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and should we just put all of our accordions together? Let's just put all of our accordions together. How about that? Here's the little one. This one I have, I don't know what the heck happened here, but I don't like it. Okay. All right. So here's the flap. I'm going to put it on the opposite side. And as long as you don't mat first, it doesn't matter what side your flap is on. Because <clears throat> you can just flip it over or, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this one needs to go on this side. Like so. And then this last one needs to go on the top here. And we have our um, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Oh, that was off. Meh, this is gonna be off because I don't wanna rip the paper. Okay. And then our final accordion it's going to be this one. So I have my score tape to the left, on the bottom piece, score tape to the right, on this piece. I'm going to add it on top. Okay. And now this one, I need to put it on the left hand side. This piece here. There are different ways to put your accordions together. Um, these are just the two ways that I typically do it. It really just depends on my mood, how I attach them. <clears throat> and then, but I think this way is going to be the easiest because you're putting them on the opposite sides each time. And so you're definitely going to come out with the accordion fold. Um, sometimes if you do it the other way, you forget where you were and then you have something that looks like this and then you like, oh my gosh, it didn't work. But you just have to force your paper to go into the direction that you need. Okay. All right. So that was easy to put together. Now let's go ahead and take care of our, um, actual folio. All right. Let's bring back in those two sheets of paper that were 10 and a half by six and three fourths scored on the long side at four and three quarters and five and three quarters. We are gonna go ahead and varnish those. Make sure that they're straight. And if you don't make sure they're straight, then your book kind of looks like this, <laughs> which is fine because I didn't make sure that they were straight and I did not make sure that my magnet wasn't gonna pull my book over. I put one too far, um, so yeah. But that's okay, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Most people aren't gonna be looking at it from the bird's eye view, but it's a little wonky. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to both pieces of paper. Now, we are just going to glue these together. That's it. That is your folio base, okay? 
I am almost out of glue. I already used one of my refills. You can glue or tape it, don't matter. I'm just gonna glue it so I have some wiggle room. Get right up against that score line. Do not go on it, do not pass it. Okay, I'll make sure I can fold with ease. Okay, make sure that side was lined up. That looks perfect. All right, varnish that in. <clears throat> And glue everywhere. Where's my towel? Okay. okay, that's that for that. Okay, this is where if you want to go ahead and mat all three um, first, like how I did, then go ahead and do that. I actually matted, see the annoying magnet, <laughs> I matted all three with the baby blue. Actually, I think I did all of it with the baby blue first. I did. I did the three inside and the three outside. So you can go ahead and mat that first if you want to. It does take up a full sheet of paper, which is, that paper is going to be like six and a half by like four, four and five eighths. So it's a huge piece of paper that is just gonna be covered. So I wanted to have the blue border because I knew I was gonna be using these dark stars. Um, so I wanted it to kind of pop. If you're not gonna be using like a black paper collection, you don't have to do that matting, okay? You'll just have that black border. Um, for a cardstock album, all of your heaviest is gonna go in the middle because you have two pieces of paper in that middle, right? That's what we glued on. So that's gonna be your strongest point. Now for me, because I'm hard on my books, I wanted my hinges to be just a little bit more um, sturdy. I put my paper down and then I just covered it with regular packing tape, like the kind you seal your boxes with. That's an optional step. You can reinforce it with Tyvek if you want to, or you can just leave it alone because um, your paper is going to be sturdy enough. I just wanted extra, extra security. All right, so let's bring in our um, accordions back. So I'm not going to mat because I really don't want to use that paper collection because I don't have ephemera for the cover and I don't have anything else that matches that so hmm, let me see something no I really don't have enough well maybe Do some polka dots. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Uh, maybe I can do some stuff on my portrait because I really want to have a background. Okay. Well. Let me put these polka dots on either side here first, and then we will go from there. Because polka dots, those I can cover up really easily. So four, four and five eighths by six and a half. And five eighths. Four and five eighths by six and five eighths. Oh my gosh. 
what did I just say? Ooh, I'm glad I double checked that. 135. So four and five eighths and six and five eighths. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that fits. Perfect, okay. All right, so these are gonna be my backing papers. One, three, five. Like I said, because these will be easy to um, really cover with any paper collection that I choose when I get home. Um, I will already be home by the time this airs, but right this second, I gotta do what I gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down. Um, again, if you're gonna do your packing tape, you need to do these pieces first Put your packing tape over it and then put these pieces okay because you want to hide that packing tape so other than me pointing it out and showing you the shiny you wouldn't know that there is packing tape on there um, again you do not have to have the packing tape step it's just if you want to reinforce i'm giving this to a child and so i figured you know it really needs some extraness um, I guess I can show you that now. Oy, okay. Um, oh, you know what? I think there's pink in here. These cute little birdhouses. I might. All right. I'm just gonna figure it out. I'm gonna use this collection. Hopefully, there's enough. All right, so I'm gonna do, the only reason why I didn't wanna use this collection is because um, it doesn't have like cut aparts or anything. This is Bloom and Grow by Fancy Pants Design. It does not have cut aparts, and so it's kinda hard to design a cover, but I can put a birdhouse on the cover. All right, I'm gonna do seeds, and nope, I'm gonna do pink, and I'm gonna do birdhouses. Okay, so okay, so I got it together what pieces I'm going to use so I can just show you guys everything at once. Um, now for the magnet, <clears throat> it's a little a little tricky because typically when you have a trifold, you don't put anything on the part that's going to close. But for instance, this one has the waterfalls. Why is that not? Oh, I don't have a magnet on that. So I have two, I have one magnet. Um, where did I put that magnet? Okay. I have one magnet right here and the other piece of the magnet here. Because I'm using the large basic gray, so that keeps that flat. And I also have another magnet, it has to be somewhere else, right here. So on this flap and on the bottom, that keeps this flat. Well, I need it somehow to close the book and I don't like to do ribbon closures because um, I don't have ribbon. Um, so I used a third magnet here. So this magnet and this magnet go together. But the only thing is when you open the book, it kind of looks like that. So I really didn't like it, so I'm not gonna use a magnet to close, but if you want magnets, um, you need to place your magnets before you do this step, okay? So, um, it's, uh, actually no. You're gonna do your magnets once we put it on. Sorry, that's confusing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay my pieces down. What I'm going to use in, in the middle here, these little pink pieces. I was going to use the seeds, but do I like the seeds? Let's go seeds. Okay, so I'm going to place my seeds down. Um, oh, this is the weird tape runner. This is the only tape runner that has tape left in it. 
So I'll put this here. This is a little less than one inch by six and five eighths. Um, I can't see because of these shadows, but I don't think that was straight. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put my other one. Sorry, I'm just shovel, guys. Like, whew, it's been a day. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this here. And like so, perfect. Okay, now here's where you wanna take your regular old packing tape. Um, and just put it over it. And that's it. Right in the middle. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles or anything like that. And that was just to reinforce my hinges, okay? Um, again, I was the Disney one is going to a child that I know is going to love it and just want to keep looking at it over and over and over. Um, so I don't want it to rip on any of the hinges. So I decided to put packing tape. Um, I just really put it over there and then I cut off the access with my with Teflon scissors so it doesn't stick. And that is it, my friend. So you just have like a little shiny. To me, I love shiny, so you know. It works out. All right, make sure it's all the way varnished in and then just repeat the process. Make sure you're varnishing those lines. See? Perfect. All right, repeat the process. And now you have your hinges that are bigger than an inch. Um, obviously, you might have to put two pieces of tape, you know, side by side. I don't know. But my tape is wide enough to fit, so we're good to go. Okay, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get that varnish down. Get our lines re-varnished. Now let's go ahead and put our um, what your columns down. I am going to put tape on the side that has the packing tape. Um, I don't know if glue will work. I didn't want to go through the hassle of finding out the hard way. So I'm just going to tape that edge, score tape, and then I'm going to glue the rest. Here we go. And just put that there. All right. And we're just going to do the same for the other side. I'm just going to put tape on what. And for me, I'm not paying attention to which side I'm putting the tape on, only because this is non-directional paper. So I can just flip it whichever way it needs to be. If you have directional paper, please pay attention or else you're gonna be mad at yourself. Well, actually you can just tape the other side. So it won't be devastating, just be annoying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this. And we're going to put this here. Okay, so now we're done with that. Now we're going to go ahead and oh, I guess we can just, I'll just do everything on camera. You guys can fast forward. I'm going to put the middle piece in, that fell on the floor. And then this one I'm going to tape on both sides because there's tape on both sides. There's packing tape on both sides. And then we'll put our accordion on top. 
and go from there. Okay. Oh, I did not burnish. If you burnish properly, you should be able to pick your score tape backing up at any point. All right, make sure there's no overhang on any of the tapes. Get some glue. And just get enough on there. All right, let's do our middle piece here. And we're good enough. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to take our accordions and you're going to. Yeah, see, this is annoying, so we're not going to put the magnets. We're not going to put a magnet here. Um, I will show you how to do the magnets here. If you want these to lay flat, so like when you open the book, it's flat, but um, I'm not going to put one to close it. All right, so you need to determine if you want your accordion to pull out to the left, or if you want to face it the other way and have it pull out to the right. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, I just stick it down wherever, wherever it wants to go. Okay, let me move this one out of the way. So all I did was varnish that and I'm gonna put it here. And what I mean by that is, so this way my flap opens like that. I can flip it this way and your flap opens to the left. So it just depends on what side you put your score tape is what side your flap is gonna open to. It does not matter. It is purely your preference. And all I'm gonna do is, I took the backing off. I'm gonna line it up. Oh, look at how I cut this perfectly. There's one row of dots on all four sides. Lay it down, varnish it in, like so. Okay. That's it. Now, if you do want your magnets, this is what you're gonna do. Where are my magnets? I just had them. Cause I wanted to make sure I had them for this part. <sighs> All right, I'm using the small ones. Here are the large ones. Um, when I wanted it to go through to the cover, um, I did use a large magnet because it had to go through right here on top of everything here. Um, but I don't need all that, so I'm just gonna do a small magnet right now. All right, so you have pluses and minuses. You need a plus and you need a minus. Okay, put them together. And you don't want your magnet to be close to your edges. So I like to put my magnets where I'm gonna have paper and not a picture. So my magnet is on top here, it is not on the bottom. That's just my preference. Um, there might be a picture there, I don't know. So basically, it's gonna look like this while you're doing it, okay? Um, like so, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and Take that off. I'm gonna peel my little thing off. Oopsies. You just gotta kind of find them. You have to use a strong magnet for these um, because you're gonna have layers of paper and layer of whatever pictures. So I wouldn't if you're using super thick like a cartabella, you may want to use the, the larger magnet. I think the smaller one would be okay. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is just take the backing off of this one. I'm using my quarter inch and I have, that's my only rule. And I'm just gonna put that on top of there like that. Where is my eighth of an inch? Right here, okay. You can do the same for this one. 
I'm just gonna put a little piece. Okay, now I have mine because I want to put an extra different piece here, a layering piece. If you don't want that layering piece and you don't want the border, you do not have to have it, okay? That's just my preference. I love a border. I made this one too far to the left, but that's okay. Um, I love a border, so that's why I have what I have, okay? I love the blue around it, and then I love the extra piece there. All right. So you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to grab our next set here. And this one, how did I have it? Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Um, that does have a magnet. Why is it not magnet-y? That one opens that way. Okay. And I'm just going to lay this down wherever I see fit. Just kind of line it up as best as you can. As straight as you can. Yes, my book is Cricut. That's not the video. I can only put things down straight when my book is Cricut. I'm a weirdo. What can I say? So now I'm gonna go ahead and take another set of magnets and we're just gonna repeat the process. Just determine where I want it. Um, I'm gonna put it roughly there. Take that down. Take the backing off. It's fine if your magnet comes off because all you have to do is find it. That's it. And put a piece of square tape over that. And put a piece of square tape. Um, you don't, I don't know if you have to put the piece of square tape. That's just how I was taught to do it. That's how Rosa Kelly does it. She does a lot of folios, so that's what I do. All right. All right, these ones probably needed a large magnet, but that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our um, two by three. And again, if you want it to come down this way, you're gonna put it that way. If you want it to go up, you're gonna put it up. Whichever way you would like it, that's how you're gonna do it. And this one, it comes down. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna take this one as well, and I'm just gonna line it up where I want it to be, so that way I know where I want this one to be. How much space I have in between and whatnot. Okay, that looks about right. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna burnish, 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 okay. Same with this one. Do I want the flap that way? Yep, so I'm gonna put the, um, taped hinge to the right. Ooh, almost caught that overhang. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down where I think it looks good, which is about, oops about here yep I like that okay no magnets unless you want to but I am going to individually burnish these because for some reason this one wants to be super bulky and springy okay there we go all right so now you just have to um, decorate so however you want to decorate, that's what you're going to do on the back again, or excuse me, on the covers again, you're going to do your, your strips first, and then you're going to do your packing tape. 
and then you're going to put your pieces, your front cover pieces on, okay? Alright, I thought I did this funky, which I did. It looks funky. So, mine's going to look like this. See, it doesn't really need a magnet. Yeah, these need large magnets. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. So, because I know I'm going to cover those, I'm just going to take these magnets off. You know what, maybe it's just the score tape. Let me see something here. No, I think it's the, the magnet itself. I need the big ones. I'm just going to put these back, and then we're going to switch to the big ones. It doesn't matter. Um, I know you're like, oh, that says one says plus, one says minus. One side is plus, and one side is minus of all of your magnets, so it doesn't matter. Yes, this is going to rip my paper, but I'm going to cover this section anyway. That one didn't rip it because I said it. So save your magnets. Use the large ones. Okay, so I got my large ones. I'm a little annoyed because I got these magnets from Amazon, and it wasn't, you know, like an Amazon. It was like somebody's store on Amazon. And sometimes when you buy stuff like that, it doesn't work like it's supposed to. The magnets on this one are the small magnets that I got from Connie's at 2G's in North Carolina. And you see how that business is. Look, it ain't going nowhere. So, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Hmm. All right, and I just wanted to show you this other thing too, that like I was saying, it doesn't matter if you have two magnets that say, oh my gosh, that say positive, they're just going to attach like that. Okay, you don't have to specifically have one that says positive, one that says negative, because on one side is positive, and one side is negative. Okay. That's just how it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to place this where I want it to be, which is kind of right here in this middle. And then I'm going to find that thing again. Oh, come on, square tape, come off. Yes, I ripped my, my paper, but that's okay because I'm going to cover it. I'm going to take my backing off. I'm going to put a little piece of score tape on. Same, same thing that we did with the smaller magnets. I wonder if heat affects, because um, where I'm at is super hot, and I'm sure these were sitting out in the 100 plus degrees. Um, I'm just putting my little bits of score tape on there, so that way it does have a little bit of that sticky exposed. And since I'm not matting right away, I don't want to close my book. And then, you know, I'm in trouble. All right, again, here we go. Put that right about there. Take that piece off. Put it there. It will find it. Don't worry. It will find it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm only going to peel off half and put my score tape on half. I probably don't even need to put score tape on there, but... Again, that's how I was taught, so I am a creature of habit. All right, so I can just leave that like that, and there we go. Maybe I do want to put, since I already have these exposed, I'm going to put a little magnet on this one that's being a pain. Okay, that needs to go on like that, so I think I'm going to do... really just want it to, let's see, here we go, I don't know if that's going to hold or not because it's a small magnet, but so far it's holding, I don't know, maybe it was just user error, I don't, I don't know. Okay, whatever. This one, it's fine. That one's the only one acting right. All right, so there's our magnets. And again, oh. Okay. 
because I put my <laughs> two magnets are interacting with each other and trying to pull to where I don't want it to pull. Okay, let me see what pulls the culprit. It has to be this one. Nope, it's this one trying to interact with this one. All right, all right. Well, I'm glad you guys are getting to see that. Wow, that's 49 minutes. Okay. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are getting to see this. Um, I just realized the time was insane. What I'm going to do since those magnets want to react to each other. I'm going to peel this off and peel this one off and the two that repel so that way repel I don't know how I'm going to fix that I guess that's why I had it The way that I had it because if I put this one this one yeah if I put that back that's gonna close my book like so all right so you just got to fool around with your magnets and maybe that's why I didn't have magnets or you're gonna have to place them somewhere else where it's not going to affect the placement of that magnet. So let's try this. I don't want it too close to the edge. Let's find it. That's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. So you're going to have to make sure that your magnets don't touch each other. So put them somewhere where they're not going to touch. Let me see, because I want it in the middle. Yep. Okay. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Sorry this video is so long. Again, I am just completely disheveled and I probably shouldn't have craft today, but I have certain things I got to get done before I leave here and um, yeah, I just really have had a day. All right, so here we go. We're going to flip this this way and there we go. And now all you have left to do is just go ahead and mat like you normally would. Like I said, you'll just do your corners first and then um, your packing tape. Okay, so this is how it came out. I don't have anything on the cover yet because I don't have any paper that matches to make anything. And then it opens up, flips out, and I just left these blank. I'll probably add solid colors or maybe just leave it blank for pictures. This way. This one's very similar, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way, this way, and this way. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.